So the first method for boxing corners is to fold your fabric so the two seams meet. I'm going to pull my seam allowance apart. And I like to put a pin in to try and align those two seams really neat. As you can see, it's a bit of trial and error. That's better. So this is a method I've used for a long time. And then I tend to, using quilter's ruler, oh why do I want my bag? I think I'm going to go for three inches. So what I need is one and a half inches essentially along that seam, following down that seam. So I've got a nice 90 degree angle here. I'm just going to mark along here. And so. so I've got my tailor's chalk marked, I've got my seams aligned. And I'm just going to back stitch on the edge there. Because these corners will take a bit of wear and tear from the bag because they're performing the base corners of the bag. Stitch it again. So there you have it. That's corner stitched. So this is one corner stitched. I'm just going to try it. Now that is a really good aligned corner, but I want to show you a different method. This is a bit hit and miss, sometimes I don't get such a neat join here. So let me show you a different method. So remember we measured one and a half inches for our stitch line before. So I am going to measure a one inch square which is going to give me half an inch seam allowance and I'm going to cut it out through both layers of the fabric like that so we've cut our square out I'm going to fold the two seams together again just like we did on the other corner And we're going to create a straight line from that corner, that square, lining our seams. As you can see, that's a much easier method for aligning your two seams. And now we're just going to stitch along there. Remember we've got half an inch seam allowance. So there you have it, two boxed corners, creating the base of your bag. 